Hi y'all. My daughters thought it would be a good idea if I did a paint and sip on YouTube. But, on, in all honesty, how many of you have all of these supplies? All the paints, all the brushes, and the skills to do some of these projects. So, rather than do that, I thought I would do one half of the paint and sip and do the sip part, which I think is pretty neat and it's easy to do. And it's early in the morning, so I thought, what not better to do but a nice morning drink to sip. So, here I am in my kitchen, and right now I am getting this stupid camera so you can see what I'm going to do. I decided that we could make a great Italian drink, which is called my favorite in the summer because I was supposed to be in Florida. So I thought, what not? Might as well make myself a good drink to pretend that I'm still in Florida. So I'm going to make an Italian drink in honor of my bocce league that I am president of. So we're going to make a bocce ball. No, it is not a real bocce ball, so tell your kids, sorry kids, this is going to be a drink that we're going to eat and drink. So get your favorite glass. I have my favorite wine glass. It's nice and big. I just feel good drinking out of a great glass. Plus, it's plastic. So in case I drink too many of them and drop it, it won't break. First thing you're gonna need is orange juice. So you're gonna get orange juice, you're gonna get amaretto, club soda, and if you have an orange, grab that too. Plus you're gonna need a meat cleaver. I'll explain that later. Okay, so we're gonna open up our orange juice. Nice and fresh, just got it at the market. And we're gonna pour the orange juice in the glass. Then we're gonna get our amaretto. Now I like a lot of amaretto, but it's up to you. You don't have to have a lot and just pour it in as much as you want. You want to change the color of the orange juice so the darker it gets, the more amaretto you use. That's entirely up to you. Then I get club soda, and the reason I use club soda is that I like it bubbly. Just add a little bit to your taste. You don't need it at all if you don't want it. Then I get my stir and I stir it up as much as I can. I actually would use a shaker, but I didn't grab it. Now I take the meat cleaver and the reason I use the meat cleaver is I am going to crush ice because I like my drinks with crushed ice. Now you might want to put, I got it in a Ziploc bag, you might want to put it in a towel because when you start pounding, your neighbors are going to think you and your husband or you're beating up your kids after all this in, indoor stuff. Good thing my kids don't come over because I'm, I'm a bear being inside all by myself. I hate it, but that's what we gotta do. And then you take your crushed ice, and the bag broke, and you pour it in to your glass with the hole. Oh, uh, look at how good that looks. Get my stir, and stir it up a little more. Oh, look at that, so good. Now, and if you want to make it nice and fancy, you get your orange, cut it, 
cut it in half. Squeeze a little bit into your drink. Lay it on the side of your glass. And there you are. This is my bocce ball. Enjoy it, because I certainly am. Oh, I'll have to make another one. That was really good. Bye.